Alright, quick update for the dog coins. So once again, I'm going to lump both Dogecoin and Shiba in the same videos. They've pretty much got the same chart and they go hand in hand anyway. So starting off with Dogecoin, uh, we've saved ourselves from flipping the daily EMAs bearish. Uh, we've popped back above these daily EMA ribbons. This is a really good sign. This is what we wanted to see. And while the daily squeeze mom has headed to the downside, I believe this can be very soon subsided and switch back to the upside. In the lower time frames, you can see a big influx of volume is coming in. Not the craziest volume, but it is great volume that you want to see after having a fake out uh, on these short term moving averages on the four hour. Now, I do think these EMA ribbons on the four hour are going to flip back bullish in the next 12 hours or so, maybe in the next day. Uh, nonetheless, if Dogecoin keeps on pushing up, bullish momentum is obviously going to be in favor of the bulls and we are going to be able to enter a massive rally hourly. EMA ribbons have flipped bullish lovely volume that we're seeing here uh, bulls never really lost control uh, but it did reset temporarily in favor of the bears and you know we continued to push up so as you can see down here we had a little fake out on the bearish side on the one hourly i'm hoping we're going to see something like that uh, on dogecoin now where these start turning dark red and the bears start losing momentum because as far as i'm concerned uh, the bulls are in control but sometimes these momentum indicators don't work 100% on uh, on Elon or Dogecoin and Shiba, uh, mainly because these momentum indicators, you know, they, they really want cryptos to move like this and, you know, tell you if the momentum's to the upside. And then if they go down, they'll be like, oh, momentum's to the downside. But when Dogecoin is like, boom, 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 you know, these squeeze mom uh, momentum indicator is just having a fit most of the time. So uh, I wouldn't put too much weight in that. Nonetheless, if we look at it in a more bigger picture, we look at the hourly, four hourly and daily. It does seem like even though daily bears are still technically in control, in my opinion, the bulls are in control. And it's, it is literally just because we move so euphorically and have these 21% rallies in a day, which we don't see with a lot of other cryptos. So Dogecoin, we're looking great. We've pumped above. Uh, the EMA ribbons and we flipped uh, the 618 back as support. We temporarily lost it. Uh, I think if we drew this to close, to be fair. Yeah, I think drawing drawing fibs from closes on Dogecoin works a lot better than just drawing it to the wicks. Uh, you can see we were, we were well respected the 618 Fibonacci down here. So Dogecoin looks good. In my opinion, the bottom's in. Nonetheless, your moon line has not changed. The moon line is still the 200 day moving average. Once we take out the 200 day, I can become much more bullish on dogecoin so keep your eyes on approximately well it's, it's about 18 cent but i imagine in the next couple of days or so it will kind of leverage itself down to you know 17.5 17 cent if we take another week or so so why is this my moon line well very simply uh dogecoin very well respected this during the first rally you can see we had a big impulse uh, back tested the EMA ribbons and you know basically we found our bottom down here and within 29 days we went on a massive explosion that is kind of what I'm looking for now maybe a 29 day rally to the all-time high I don't necessarily think it will make it all the way to the all-time high uh, but either way I mean we can draw a fib from low to high and I think you know worst case scenario we have a big push up to the 618 fib up here at approximately 59 cent in fact I think that's much more accurate and much more likely a breakout of the 200 day uh, up approximately 174 percent so let me get rid of that we can focus on that once we have broken out of the 200 day there's, there's literally no point in drawing all these fibs with higher price targets uh, until we do take out 18 cents so dogecoin's looking good we flip that, the, the ema ribbons balls are in control let's check out what's going on with shiba very similar chart, uh, except, you know, we never really saved ourselves from the daily EMA flip uh, because we never flipped bullish in the first place. But if we look at what's going on now, if I zoom in, you can see the short term moving average is coming at the throat of the long term moving average very, very quickly. I think within the next day, if uh, Shiba Inu keeps on hodling and, you know, chilling around this region, then I imagine it will continue to push up. And while on the daily, that it did flip temporarily in the favor of the bears you can see the bears have no momentum right now they're already losing the little uh downtrend that we've had and similarly for shiba inu which is why i cover these in tandem your 200 day moving average this is your moon line so for shiba inu it's approximately 3158 i'm not going to include all the zeros it will take me too long every time i say it uh, but nonetheless you can see previously 
what did we have after we found the bottom for Shiba Inu? 29, 29 day rally on an absolute face tear. What happened for Dogecoin? 29 day rally on an absolute face tear. This is why I cover them in tandem. They've got the same chart. They follow each other. Uh, they're both looking for this kind of same breakout scenario. And in the lower time frames, it doesn't seem like anyone is in control right now. I mean, we're kind of just accumulating to the side. Hourly EMAs are bullish, so I would have to say the bulls have the advantage right now. Not really much volume coming in. I would like to see a pump in volume up to these 200-day uh, moving average. I really can't get exceptionally bullish until we do break the 200-day up here at 3168. But nonetheless, I do think that it has bottomed. So... I'm not saying that, you know, we're not going to make it if we don't break above here. I think we can take as long as we want. Uh, but the point of the matter is I, I can't get like super, super macro bullish until we take this out. I am short term bullish right now. You can see bulls are definitely in control on the four hour chart. We have fired along. And, you know, these EMA ribbons, in my opinion, are going to continue to push up, create new support as we go. And I think this is going to give us enough momentum to keep moving to the upside. I believe within the next day or so, out the daily EMAs on Shiba Inu are going to flip. What happened the last time we flipped? We literally had a face tear. Uh, what happened on dogecoin so you have you actually have a few fake outs on the daily on dogecoin uh, but nonetheless the last time we found a macro bottom which i do believe we found down here is what we did down here where we found a macro bottom we accumulated to the side for a while and had these big big rallies so that's why I'm saying like, I'm, I can't be too, too macro bullish and expect a face tear to happen until Dogecoin and Shiba Inu take out their 200 day. But when we do take out our 200 day, like, like I said, we can chop to the side for another couple of months uh, before we do decide to break out. This is exactly what we did on Dogecoin down here. I mean, 17th of November, we fired a bullish signal and we really didn't start warming up until 27th of January. So it, it took over a whole month. So I really wouldn't be too worried if we kind of just chop around for the next couple of weeks the next couple of months nonetheless that that actually isn't my most likely scenario i think they are warming up i think we are getting ready for a rally uh, i don't necessarily think that's going to happen in the next day or the next week but the next two weeks to a month i do think these dog coins are going to start performing very very well but that all kind of ties in uh, with what's going on in Bitcoin. Now, I want Bitcoin to break uh, 42.5 and 43,000 respectively. Once Bitcoin breaks uh, 43,000, I think it will be almost undeniable that Bitcoin is entering back into a macro bullish phase. Obviously, if you're talking about macro macro, like Bitcoin has never not been in a macro uptrend. Since it came out, it just keeps on putting in higher highs and higher lows, especially on the much, much higher time frames. But if we're focusing on like the midterm uptrend we've got on uh, Bitcoin right now, uh, it, in my opinion, once we break above 43, it, I do believe we'll be heading up to 55 and then uh, potentially the all time high within the next you know, six to 12 months or so. Uh, I do believe it will happen sooner rather than later, approximately six months. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Shiba Inu looks great. Dogecoin looks better, to be honest. I mean, we have fired along. We've back-tested EMAs. We've back-tested 618 and started to head up. But both of them, both of them are in favor of the bulls. Uh, in the next day or so, Shiba Inu will flip bullish, in my opinion, on these uh, EMA ribbons. And then, yeah, I think we only really need to focus on getting up to the 200 days. So for Shiba Inu, I'm predicting approximately a 20% increase to the upside within the next couple of weeks i, I want to say maximum a month uh, but i think it's more likely we come up to these in the next week or two uh, for dogecoin specifically the next impulse up uh, would be a 23 percent move so very similar with what's going on right now you can see dogecoin is waking up a lot faster than these other dog coins in fact the other two dog coins we cover are in the red uh, and dogecoin is having a little rally today nice volume on the daily uh, but all in all would like to see continuation once we break 18 cent for dogecoin i will be entering along because i think it will do a face tear and for shiba inu i'll do the same potentially if we break 3183 that's all i've got for you for the dog coins uh, they're both looking great I, I really like the setup of both of these charts uh that's pretty much all i've got for you today so once again not financial advice cowboy out peace